Welcome to BrainWorks, your gateway to unraveling the marvels of the human brain and the intricate mechanisms governing our bodies. Today, we embark on a crucial exploration into one of the most pivotal aspects of cancer treatment, chemotherapy. Cancer, a formidable adversary, challenges the resilience of the human body. In this battle, chemotherapy emerges as a frontline warrior, wielding a potent arsenal of drugs designed to halt the relentless progression of cancer cells. But within this formidable efficacy lies a complex narrative, one that extends far beyond its role in eradicating cancer. Chemotherapy, often shrouded in misconceptions, operates on the fundamental principle of targeting fast-dividing cells. However, its impact is not limited to malignant cells alone. It's an intricate dance between destruction and preservation, where the line between targeting cancerous growth and sparing healthy cells becomes increasingly delicate. Throughout this video, we aim not only to decipher the scientific underpinnings of chemotherapy but also to navigate the labyrinth of its implications. We'll delve into its mechanisms, its implications on the body's delicate balance, and the varying ways it is utilized to combat the relentless progression of cancer. But beyond the scientific jargon and medical intricacies lies a narrative that echoes with resilience, hope, and the unyielding spirit of those affected by cancer. It's a story not just of treatments and medications but of courage, support networks, and the tireless efforts of researchers striving for breakthroughs. Together, let's bridge the gap between knowledge and understanding, empowering ourselves to comprehend the profound impact of this treatment. So join us on this journey as we unravel the mysteries of chemotherapy, understanding its complexities, acknowledging its challenges, and celebrating its role as a crucial ally in the fight against cancer. What is chemotherapy? Definition. Chemotherapy refers to the use of drugs or medications to treat diseases, primarily cancer. It involves the administration of powerful chemicals that target and inhibit the growth of rapidly dividing cells, particularly cancer cells. Origin and inventor. The origins of chemotherapy can be traced back to the early 20th century, the foundation was laid by a groundbreaking discovery made by Dr. Paul Ehrlich, a German scientist renowned for his work in immunology and chemotherapy. In 1909, Ehrlich introduced the concept of a magic bullet, a drug that selectively targeted disease-causing agents without harming healthy cells. This visionary concept laid the groundwork for the development of chemotherapy. Place and year invented. Dr. Ehrlich conducted his research and experiments primarily in Frankfurt, Germany, during the late 19th and early 20th centuries. His pioneering work culminated in the formulation of the first chemotherapeutic agent, Selversan, in 1910. This arsenic-based compound was used to treat syphilis, marking the advent of chemotherapy. Purpose the primary purpose of chemotherapy is to destroy or slow the growth of cancer cells within the body. It aims to achieve this by disrupting the cell division process, damaging the DNA or vital cellular structures within cancerous cells. By targeting these rapidly dividing cells, chemotherapy seeks to inhibit their ability to multiply and spread throughout the body. Mechanism against cancer cells Cell cycle disruption Chemotherapy drugs work by interfering with the cell cycle, the process through which cells grow and divide. They disrupt this cycle by either preventing cells from dividing or inducing cell death, apoptosis, in rapidly dividing cancer cells. Targeting rapidly dividing cells. Cancer cells divide and multiply at a faster rate than normal cells. Chemotherapy takes advantage of this characteristic targeting these rapidly dividing cells while also affecting other rapidly dividing cells in the body, such as those in the bone marrow and hair follicles. Various drug actions. Chemotherapy drugs employ various mechanisms to disrupt cancer cells, including inhibiting DNA synthesis, interfering with enzymes necessary for cell division, or inducing damage to cellular structures essential for cell survival. Types of chemotherapy. 
classification based on drugs and administration methods. Chemotherapy drugs. Alkylating agents. These drugs work by attaching alkyl groups to the DNA, causing breaks in the DNA strands, preventing cell division and ultimately leading to cell death. Examples include cyclophosphamide and cisplatin. Antimetabolites. Mimicking substances essential for cell growth, these drugs interfere with DNA and RNA production, impeding cancer cell division. Common examples include methotrexate and 5-fluorouracil. Anti-tumor antibiotics. Derived from natural sources, these drugs interfere with enzymes involved in DNA replication, effectively damaging DNA and preventing cell growth. Examples include doxorubicin and bleomycin. Plant alkaloids. Extracted from plants, these drugs disrupt microtubule formation during cell division, preventing proper chromosome separation. Common examples include vincristine and paclitaxel, taxol. Administration methods. Systemic chemotherapy. Administered orally or intravenously, systemic chemotherapy circulates throughout the body, targeting cancer cells wherever they may be. Regional chemotherapy. This method involves delivering chemotherapy directly to a specific area, such as the abdomen, intraperitoneal, or the cerebrospinal fluid, intrathecal. Targeted therapies and their role. Targeted therapy. Unlike traditional chemotherapy, targeted therapy aims to attack specific molecules or pathways involved in cancer cell growth. It focuses on identifying and targeting specific genetic alterations or proteins that drive cancer growth and progression. Types of targeted therapies. Monoclonal antibodies. These are laboratory-produced antibodies that target specific proteins on the surface of cancer cells, blocking their growth signals or marking them for destruction by the immune system. Tyrosine kinase inhibitors, TKIs. These drugs block signals within cancer cells that promote their growth and division. They work by inhibiting specific enzymes involved in cell signaling pathways. Hormone therapy, used primarily in hormone-sensitive cancers, like breast or prostate cancer, hormone therapy blocks the effects of certain hormones that fuel cancer growth. Angiogenesis inhibitors. These drugs target the process of angiogenesis, which is the formation of new blood vessels that tumors need to grow. Role of targeted therapies. Targeted therapies offer a more precise approach, minimizing damage to healthy cells and potentially reducing side effects commonly associated with traditional chemotherapy. By specifically targeting the abnormalities present in cancer cells, these therapies aim to disrupt cancer growth and progression more effectively. Chemotherapy process. Patient Evaluation and Treatment Planning 1. Diagnosis and Staging The chemotherapy process begins with a thorough diagnosis of cancer, often involving various tests and imaging scans. Staging helps determine the extent of cancer spread, guiding treatment decisions. 2. Consultation and Treatment Team Patients consult with an oncologist, who specializes in cancer treatment. A multidisciplinary team, including oncologists, nurses, and other specialists, collaborates to create a personalized treatment plan. 3. Assessment of health and personal factors. Factors such as overall health, previous medical history, age, and the type and stage of cancer are considered in tailoring the most suitable chemotherapy regimen for the patient. Administration methods and frequency. 1. Systemic chemotherapy. Intravenous IV infusion. The most common method involves administering drugs directly into a vein through a catheter, allowing for precise dosing and easy access. Oral medications. Some chemotherapy drugs are available in pill or liquid form and can be taken orally at home, following specific instructions. 2. Frequency and treatment cycles. Treatment schedule. Chemotherapy is often administered in cycles, allowing time for the body to recover between sessions. The frequency and duration of cycles vary depending on the type of cancer, drugs used, and individual response. Scheduled appointments. 
Patients typically undergo chemotherapy treatments and outpatient clinics, although inpatient stays might be required for certain aggressive treatments. Managing Side Effects 1. Nausea and Vomiting Anti-nausea medications are commonly prescribed to manage these side effects. Lifestyle changes and dietary modifications might also help alleviate symptoms. 2. Fatigue. Rest, proper nutrition, and moderate exercise can help combat fatigue. Patients are encouraged to manage their energy levels and seek support from caregivers. 3. Hair loss. Not all chemotherapy drugs cause hair loss, but when it occurs, patients might explore options such as wigs, scarves, or counseling to cope with these changes. 4. Immune suppression. Chemotherapy can weaken the immune system, making patients more susceptible to infections. Precautions such as avoiding crowds and practicing good hygiene are crucial. 5. Other potential side effects. Side effects vary widely based on the drugs used and the individual's response. They might include neuropathy, mouth sores, changes in blood cell counts, and emotional distress. Supportive care and follow-up. 1. Supportive therapies. Patients receive supportive care to manage side effects and maintain quality of life during treatment, including nutritional support, pain management, and emotional counseling. 2. Regular monitoring. Follow-up appointments and tests help monitor the treatment's effectiveness, manage side effects, and make adjustments to the treatment plan as needed. Effectiveness and challenges. Success rates in different cancers. 1. Solid tumors. Lung cancer. Chemotherapy plays a crucial role in managing both small cell and non-small cell lung cancers, either as the primary treatment or in combination with surgery or radiation. Colorectal cancer. Chemotherapy, particularly in combination with surgery, has led to improved survival rates in colorectal cancer patients, especially in advanced stages. 2. Hematologic cancers. Leukemia. Chemotherapy has shown promising results in inducing remission and controlling leukemia. Advances in targeted therapies and bone marrow transplants have further improved outcomes. Lymphoma. Chemotherapy remains a cornerstone in treating various types of lymphomas, leading to high remission rates, especially in Hodgkin lymphoma and certain non-Hodgkin lymphomas. Challenges in overcoming drug resistance. 1. Intrinsic and acquired resistance. Cancer cells can develop mechanisms that render chemotherapy drugs less effective. 2. Heterogeneity of cancer cells. Tumors consist of diverse cell populations, and some cells might inherently possess resistance to chemotherapy. 3. Tumor microenvironment. Factors within the tumor microenvironment, such as hypoxia, low oxygen levels, acidity, and interactions with surrounding cells, can create a protective shield for cancer cells, making them less susceptible to chemotherapy. 4. Efflux pumps and DNA repair mechanisms. Cancer cells can develop efflux pumps that expel chemotherapy drugs, reducing their concentration within the cell. 5. Targeted therapy resistance. While targeted therapies initially show promise, cancers can develop resistance by activating alternative pathways or mutations that bypass the targeted molecule's effect, limiting treatment efficacy over time. Strategies to overcome resistance. 1. Combination therapies. Using multiple drugs with different mechanisms of action can target various pathways simultaneously, reducing the likelihood of resistance development. 2. Personalized medicine. Advancements in genomic profiling allow for the identification of specific mutations or biomarkers, enabling tailored treatments that target individual vulnerabilities in cancer cells. 3. Immunotherapy. Harnessing the body's immune system to recognize and attack cancer cells has shown promise in overcoming resistance and achieving durable responses in certain cancers. 4. Continuous research and development. Ongoing research focuses on understanding the molecular basis of drug resistance, leading to the development of novel drugs and treatment strategies that circumvent resistance mechanisms. Side effects of chemotherapy. 
short-term effects on the body. 1. Nausea and vomiting, common side effects that can occur shortly after chemotherapy. Anti-nausea medications, dietary modifications, and acupuncture, acupressure techniques can help manage these symptoms. 2. Fatigue. Feeling excessively tired or weak is a prevalent short-term side effect. Balancing rest with light exercise, proper nutrition, and scheduling activities during periods of higher energy can mitigate fatigue. 3. Hair loss, alopecia. Many chemotherapy drugs can cause hair loss. While it's often temporary, patients may opt for cold caps to reduce hair loss or explore different head coverings like wigs, scarves, or hats. 4. Mouth sores and mucositis. Chemotherapy can damage the lining of the mouth and gastrointestinal tract, leading to painful sores. Maintaining good oral hygiene, using mouth rinses, and avoiding irritating foods can provide relief. 5. Changes in blood cell counts. Chemotherapy can affect the bone marrow, leading to decreased levels of red blood cells, anemia, white blood cells, increased infection risk, and platelets, increased bleeding risk. Blood transfusions or medications can help manage these issues. Long-term effects on the body. 1. Cognitive effects, chemo brain. Some patients report long-term difficulties with memory, concentration, and cognitive function post-chemotherapy. Cognitive rehabilitation, mental exercises, and lifestyle modifications may help improve these issues. 2. Heart and cardiovascular issues. Certain chemotherapy drugs can cause long-term damage to the heart or increase the risk of cardiovascular problems. Regular monitoring, lifestyle changes, and medications may be necessary to manage these complications. 3. Secondary cancers. While rare, some chemotherapy drugs might slightly increase the risk of developing secondary cancers later in life. Regular screenings and follow-ups help detect any potential secondary cancers early. 4. Peripheral neuropathy. Numbness, tingling, or pain in the hands and feet can persist as a long-term effect of chemotherapy. Medications, physical therapy, and lifestyle modifications can help manage neuropathic symptoms. Strategies to alleviate side effects. 1. Anti-nausea medications. Taking anti-nausea drugs as prescribed by healthcare providers before chemotherapy sessions can prevent or reduce nausea and vomiting. 2. Nutrition and hydration. Eating a balanced diet and staying hydrated can help manage side effects. Nutritional supplements and small, frequent meals might ease gastrointestinal issues. 3. Physical activity. Engaging in light exercise, such as walking or yoga, can combat fatigue and improve overall well-being. Consultation with healthcare providers before starting any exercise regimen is recommended. 4. Supportive therapies. Acupuncture, massage therapy, and relaxation techniques like meditation or mindfulness can alleviate stress and improve the overall quality of life during treatment. 5. Support groups and counseling. Joining support groups or seeking counseling can provide emotional support and coping strategies for patients navigating the challenges of chemotherapy. 6. Medication management. Working closely with healthcare providers to manage side effects with appropriate medications or adjusting dosages as needed can significantly improve a patient's comfort and tolerance to treatment. Including patient testimonials or experiences with specific strategies could further enrich the discussion, offering practical insights and encouragement for individuals undergoing chemotherapy and their caregivers. The landscape of chemotherapy is continually evolving, driven by ongoing research, technological advancements, and innovative strategies. The integration of precision medicine, immunotherapy, and novel drug delivery systems holds immense promise in shaping the future of cancer treatment, moving toward more targeted, effective, and personalized therapies. We hope this exploration into chemotherapy has provided you with valuable insights. 
Understanding the complexities of chemotherapy empowers us to appreciate both its strengths and limitations in the battle against cancer. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to BrainWorks for more engaging content. Your support allows us to continue unraveling the mysteries of science and medicine together. Thank you for watching. Remember, the fight against cancer involves not just treatments like chemotherapy but also support, awareness, and ongoing research. Stay informed, stay curious, and together, let's strive for a healthier future. Like, share, and subscribe to stay updated with our latest content.